All right, guys, so I wanted to make a little night vision here talking about different patterns, um, treatments, and colors under night vision. Um, it's a little windy, so bear with me, and we're in my backyard, so hopefully no one drives by or anything like that. But uh, we're going to walk up here and take a look at what I've got set up here. So starting off here on the left, this is something I like to wear a lot, but that I've noticed shows up really bad under night vision, and that's just a... Um, Carhartt black work vest um, and black sh usually shows up really bad under nods so that's something the first thing we got there right next to that we do have a Rothko multicam black top and again that's pretty dark you can see a little bit of pattern to it but again uh, under night vision usually you're trying to avoid that really dark color because that usually you know out here it's a lot of lighter colors some dark but you know if you're if you're standing out in the field with a dark color you're going to stand out um, but just because it's multi-cam black or black does not mean it will look black under nods i do have some multi-cam black over here we'll look at in a second that is ir treated so it doesn't show up like that um, but right next to that we have a really faded and used uh, multi-cam field top it's definitely uh definitely used so you can see how it's kind of faded compared to these lbx multi-cam pants right next to it try and get focused here Multicam's a uh, great pattern under night vision. So it's broke up a little bit. Um, and yeah, it, it does a good job. Right next to that, we've got AOR2. It's one of my favorite under nods. As you can see, it's got a good um, mix of light and dark. And this is a, I want to say this is a cry top. Um, but yeah, so AR2, great under night vision. Uh, this is Ranger Green, both Cry and L, or, uh, Cry and 511, another good one under nods, um, at least for the ones I have. Again, it's all in the IR treatment, really. So if you got like a really cheap Ranger Green, well, it, it might glow like crazy under nods. Right next to that, we have a DNC jacket. Um, it doesn't disappear under nods like it was it's supposed to, but, uh, you know, it, it is a decent pattern under nods. Then right next to that, we have a DCU surplus jacket. And again, that's a pretty decent one. It's a little light for like if you were, say, in the woods or something. But if you were like laying out in this cut bean field, it'd be great. Right here, we have that my backpack that uh, I rattle canned. You can see it does pretty good under nods. We do have some like kind of lights from the house next door across the road filtering through on these. So it kind of gives you an idea. And then right down here, we've got my um, Ferro Concepts FCPC5. And you can see what really stands out on that is those black mags that have not been painted as well as that black hardware. So again, a lot of times it's that dark colors that are really going to show up under night vision. But then on here, we do have multicam black shoulder pads, which um, have been IR treated. Those are, uh, shoot, I can't remember who makes those. But those are IR treated, so they do not show up super black like that Rothko top does that is not IR treated. So that just kind of shows that uh, IR treatment difference. Um, we do have on the back of this, so you can see there, that is a multicam black mat pack. The pack itself looks like it does have a good IR treatment, but the straps going across it don't so you can see that contrast there so you know no pattern is um objectively the best or better under night vision and really no color is it's all about the fabric and the IR treatment of it and the environment so just wanted to make a quick little video kind of showing that and explaining it and kind of getting in that in your guys's heads because um, that's something i think that a lot of people miss under night vision they say oh well dark colors are bad under night vision well it, it's all kind of objective to the material the ir treatment and where you're at so yeah there you go if you guys have any more questions or uh anything else you want to see let me know see ya